Hello children This is my first class with you I hope dear children you will be able to understand and comprehend the chapter that I'm going to do with you today It gives me great pleasure to be with you all Today we are going to begin with chapter number 6 from your little prose book you all have a little book in which we have poems and stories you will take chapter 6 and we will do an angel in disguise now you all must be wondering what is the title or what does it mean we all know that angels are said to be good celestial bodies or holy figures that bring happiness and joy in our lives take for example we are all going through a crisis period today people are holed up in their homes there are people without any food without shelter and there are many people reaching out to them these people who reach out to others in need is an angel in disguise similarly our chapter also deals with something like this where someone can bring a certain joy or happiness in our life now this chapter deals with three major characters those characters are maggie an invalid little child mr and mrs thompson and the minor characters are maggie's brother and sister kate and john farmer jones mrs ellis and maggie's mother now this story children is about this little girl who was born in a poor family her mother was said to be an immoral woman who was addicted to certain vices like alcohol the story starts with one day the mother enters the house in a drunken state and falls down dead in front of her three children Now this particular family had been treated as an outcast in that small village where everybody knew everyone else but it is said that the moment sorrow or pain reaches anyone everybody gets together and that's exactly what happened as soon as the news of Maggie's mother's death reached the villagers They all came flocking to that little broken tumble down hut where Kate, John and little Maggie were with their dead mother lying on the ground. Instantly the neighbors reached out bringing food, clothes for the children and even the dead woman. Now the big question arose What was to be done with these little children who were now left as often after much pondering and thought farmer jones who was a bit of a selfish man said oh don't worry i will take john with me because i need someone to help me in the farm mrs ellis was no less She had been looking for a little girl to work for her and very politely said since no one wants to take Kate may as well let me take her I will give her a home and so it was decided even before the mother was buried that John and Kate would find a home but alas what about Maggie poor maggie was left there were pitying glances there was sympathy on a thin and miserable face but no one thought of taking maggie home 
the reason is she was a bedridden child when she was a little girl she fell from a window and hurt her back and since then for the past 2 to 3 years she was laid up in bed except when her mother carried her so when the question of this little girl came up a rough looking man standing there suggested why of course who wants to take this little girl send her to a poor house now a poor house is said to be an orphanage now when this decision came up someone said why should we send the little child to a poor house immediately another said don't worry over there she will be looked after she'll be kept clean given healthy food doctored what is more and so it was decided that maggie would go to the orphanage and as usual the next day the funeral took place everybody walked away after everything was over leaving only maggie alone in the house a blacksmith's wife and this rough looking man who was mr thompson was left behind now joe thompson had other ideas he casually told the blacksmith's wife why don't you take the little girl home immediately she answered why don't you take her to the poor house and so now it was left to mr thompson to decide what to do with little maggie after much thought when everyone had turned their backs on the little child it was even growing dark no one to see to her he entered that little tumble down cottage saw the girl struggling to sit up tears in her eyes and she just pleaded please don't leave me mr thompson take me home i want to be with you immediately this rough looking man who even had a tender heart he reached out to the little girl carried her took her to his home but alas unpleasantness awaited him because for the past 10 years mr thompson was married to a lady called jane thompson and the woman being childless had no sympathy no love no concern for little children so the moment she saw her husband bringing in little maggie she at once got angry even before he could enter the gate she started screaming why have you brought her here why didn't you keep her to the work house why don't you leave her here what are we going to do with her mr thompson did not say anything he just carried the child put her in a chamber and then spoke to his wife in a very firm voice he told his wife please i never knew women could be so hard hearted I've just had the bitter experience of seeing all the women leave one by one not even one stayed back to pay attention or to take care of his wife remember jane this little thing has just lost her mother her brother and sister have been taken away by farmer jones and mrs ellis she has no one to see to her Why can't we be kind to her at least for one day? Let her feel the comfort, the warmth, the love of her house. Because after all, when she goes to the orphanage, she'll not have anyone or anybody near her. Mr. Thompson spoke in such a stern yet emotional voice that even before he could say anything, there was a little feeling in mrs thompson's heart immediately she entered the little chamber where the girl was mr thompson thought 
it is better to leave his wife and the little child and so he went on to carry on his work because as a wheelwright his duty was to mend the wheels and the vehicles late in the evening when he returned from his work he saw a light burning in the chamber window where he had left little maggie he peeped in and the sight that greeted him was one of the most beautiful one the light was shining on maggie's face there was a feeling in her heart but not of fear not of pain rather something that said that the child was comfortable mr thompson did not say anything he entered the house and that day as he and his wife sat down at the dinner table he waited for his wife to say something because just early that day they had decided the girl would go to the orphanage mr thompson would go and meet the guardian and hand her over to the poor house both of them sat looking at each other not a word was spoken ultimately mrs thompson was the first one to speak what are we going to do with little maggie of course mr thompson says you already know i have to go to the workhouse tomorrow that night mrs thompson went to maggie's room gave her bread milk and butter and there was a certain feeling in her heart this lady who had always been hard hearted was trying to reach out to this little girl next morning at breakfast table when mr thompson casually said i am going to the workhouse mrs thompson said why why do we have to send her now the child is very weak why don't we let her be for a day or two longer because that look of gratitude that look of love in maggie's heart had softened the hard hearted stern mrs thompson and thus the author says this ended here no more was there any mention of maggie going to the workhouse the author concludes with a very beautiful line saying that the dark dreary house of the thompsons which had lacked love was finally radiating with light and mrs thompson who was always irritable ill-tempered self-opinionated a desolate woman was now completely transformed the tender sick child looking at her with love and gratitude had touched the core of her heart and since then maggie was a precious burden to her both joe thompson and his wife were the happiest couple that lived in the village so the story tells us children how little maggie was the angel in disguise who brought happiness joy and brightness into the dark dreary house of the thompson we even learn that at times people who are judged to be as stern harsh hard hearted are often such because of circumstances for example mrs thompson if she was insensitive towards children if she had nothing to do with little ones 
It is probably because she had no one to care for, no one to look up to. Now you will read this chapter and you will do it part by part. The first page tells us about the tragedy that had struck Maggie's family. The second page tells us about the decision that was reached of taking away Kate and John with no information or no decision regarding Maggie. And the last part of the chapter deals where Mr. Thompson comes into Maggie's life and from there not only Maggie but even Mr. Thompson is an angel in disguise for little Maggie. Had it not been for the hard-hearted man, perhaps Maggie too would never have found a home. Now based on this story children, I have given you a little project work. I'll get back to you in the next class guiding you how to do it. I hope dear children you have understood the chapter and in case you have any doubt you can always ping me on whatsapp. Have a nice day. Love you all. Take care. Be safe.